say that. It's go time. To build this air cannon, you just need to head to your local hardware store to pick up some basic materials. I'll list those materials in the comments below. Also some hand tools, but nothing that's too difficult or expensive to buy. The first step in building this air cannon is to prime all your PVC parts. So grab your purple primer and put a solid coat on anywhere where there'll be a PVC connection. After you prime everything, grab your one inch PVC pipe and cut it into six inch lengths. Once you cut the pipe, take a sanding block and make sure to make it smooth and get all the burrs and rough edges off. Also, you need to prime the connections because they will be glued as well. Now you can apply your glue. Make sure to apply it extra heavy so you get a good seal. You do not want any air leaks. Take your PVC and press it together. Hold it no less than 30 seconds so you get a good bond. Assembling the rest of the pieces is pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure you get good bonds and apply lots of glue. If you have any questions, ask me and I can point out exactly what I'm doing with each piece. Set the finished body aside and allow it to dry for 24 hours. Now we can install the Schrader valve into our end cap. I'm using a bicycle air tube where I can just cut out the valve with a knife. It's a lot cheaper than buying some of the basic Schrader valves and this way I can trim it to the size I need. So I'm just using my knife and cutting it so it'll fit on the bottom of the cap. Using a drill or drill press, drill a hole at the bottom of the cap. Then slide your Schrader valve in to make sure it's a nice tight fit. Now's a good time to mark and drill your hole for your trigger switch. A half inch drill bit was the perfect size for my switch. I chose to solder all my connections, that way it was more secure, but you can pigtail these wires if you do not have a soldering iron. Now we can run the wires through our trigger switch housing case. At the bottom of the connections, I use wood grommets that will allow to seal up the excess holes. I'm using XT60 terminals, allowing me to disconnect my switch from my air cannon just for safe transportation. Once all soldering is complete, use your heat gun on your shrink wrap. As you can see, I was able to fit four 9 volt batteries comfortably inside the case without any gaps or spacing. Now you can mix your epoxy to seal up your holes and your tire valve. Make sure you mix it up really well so it gets a good bond. Apply lots of epoxy to your Schrader valve and end cap, that way there's no leaks. You want to make sure you go extra heavy, just be careful not to get any inside the hole that forces air in. At this point you've done all the hard work and you just need to wait, so let everything dry for at least 24 hours. Assembling the cannon is very easy. Just thread on all the pieces righty tighty lefty loosey. Make sure to use some Teflon tape on the threaded pieces as it'll prevent leaks. Connect your trigger to the cannon and test the switch. If it's working, you should hear a click. Connect your air compressor or bicycle pump to the air cannon and start putting in some air. I recommend starting low around 40 PSI and then working your way up as you test it. Do not exceed 75 PSI as these are not rated for high pressure. For my first test, I filled the air cannon to 50 PSI. I used some dead leaves and flour as my first explosion.
Hey guys, thanks for watching my build and demo of this air cannon. It's a really awesome design. It worked out really, really well just in that short clip and I can't wait to use it in my short film. If you're gonna follow my build instructions, please hit me up with any questions or problems you have, especially my little trigger here, which as you can see, works awesome. So as always, support the troops and thanks for watching.